guys, it's Queen Gija, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episodes 11 and 12 of season 2 of K-On! Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Over there. Mm. It's forward in the direction. Ugh. I mean, I know it gets hot like any other place in America, but between here, um, Nebraska, I don't really remember how hot it was in Virginia. But also, California, even though I've never been to California before, um, I just know it gets really, really hot there. So, <laughs> but yeah, I can't imagine how hot Japan gets. And I think it gets really, really hot. No, I think like now, like besides the uh, Florida, Nebraska, and California, um, Australia gets really hot during the summer, like hella hot. And they have like creepy ass bugs. Big behind spiders, I'm like, uh-uh. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. What's up, pup? Tango. <laughs> Okay, now if you think you could just sit and relax, unless you want to hop down anytime you want, it sit, sit your butt up. Stop, don't put, no, no, don't put the weight on your butt. Comfortable? There you go. Well, yeah, you have long hair. Mm hmm. He's shedding his skin. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nah, he's okay. You think you're playing better because you're in your school swimsuit? Uh, no! <laughs> of course you did. Mookie, of course, would go along with it! No. Go on. Good boy. Um, a quiz. Yeah, the tank's not old either. Damn. I 
but you can't play. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, yeah, that's good. No. Well, maybe Yuri's hungry. <laughs> I wouldn't blame her. Is it weird that the student looks like Yui, kind of? <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, that wasn't scary. <laughs> That usually doesn't work. You know, even though that's Antarctica, it's still hot there. You know, it's also cold, but then it's also hot. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Just stop. <laughs> She's okay. Yeah, it's one of those things. And it moves one way, and then eventually it's gonna move to the left. Uh -huh. Yeah, those fans are not the best fans. If you have, if it was a ceiling fan, so much better. And then if you have the ceiling fan plus that fan, best thing ever. Make your room super cold. <laughs> Yeah. yeah oh god she's gonna break it um, told you Mm. Oh. Mm. -hmm. Hey, but it feels good though. I hate the sound of those bugs. That's how you know it's truly summer. Hmm? 
Yeah, she's Olaf. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, you've technically put your feet in them, so I would just throw them away. And you can't do that either. Mm -hmm. I know, right? So cute. Mm -hmm. Like a baby. And then he'll be like probably medium size or like a little bit bigger. She should. Most teachers have a guard. What's up? <laughs> yeah, there's an air conditioning. You know, I was going to say, why don't they have the windows open? And there are windows open, but, you know, making a window open and there's no breeze coming through, it makes it worse, trust me. <laughs> oh my god, look at that small car. Uh, you shouldn't be the only one that gets to go. Yeah, Moogie has to go because she has to direct your teacher. See, hold on. How big is pretty big? Are we talking about, like, rectangle? <laughs> and there goes Moogie. And there were only four. Mm -hmm. Don't look at her. <laughs> she's so cute. Because I'm guessing she's never ridden in the front seat of a car before. Usually in the back. That's a good luck charm. <laughs> it kind of really just looks the same. Her house. <laughs> Are we ever going to have an episode where they go to her house? I mean, we've seen her beach house. So, I want to see her house. <laughs> mm.
Like what? Oh, Christ. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, how much are I'm like 50,000 yen? <laughs> oh, good idea. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Or you can literally just ask Moogie, be like, hey, ask your parents to get us the AC. She loaded. Hey, you just scared the crap out of me. You just scared at me the whole entire time, weirdo. Basically, they want an air conditioner, Nodaka. Okay? I got you, boo. Air conditioning, right? Yeah. Maybe the room already had an air conditioning in it. Are you serious? It probably is. Good. I got to bed. Blah. Oh my god. Okay. Where's your butt? Well, you'll just have to see until tomorrow. There you go. Good boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least two of you should approve and maybe one of you disapprove. Mm-hmm. You got this. Yeah. Hmm? Uh. <sighs> 
True. Mm, no. So they can get an air conditioner? Yay! Good job! Of course these two lazy bones would just sit there. No, you need to practice! Does she get like headaches? I've never met someone, I, and I'm and I'm only guessing it's just with this anime. <laughs> but I've never met someone who's never really, ever really, kind of gotten sick with handling air conditioners. I mean, mostly with me when I have like too much air. And it gets really, really cold in my room. I get, like, really, really bad headaches in the morning or whatever. But, Yui, I don't understand what the heck that was. But, I mean, it was a good episode. It really, to me, out of everyone, um, Ri-chan, she focused, it, it focused more on her and coming up a little more as a leader. Even though she forgot to attend the meeting for the previous student council meeting, and then she went to this one. And I really honestly, like, dead ass thought that someone was going to object for her to request to have an air conditioning in the room. But honestly, no one did until um, the girl who was sitting beside Notify said, you know, we already have our um, funds listed. And then she was like, no, we can use that for next year. That's okay. But it's really nice. But they got an air conditioning. They can cool their boots down and chill. My God. I can't imagine if they didn't get one and they would have went through the rest of the school year without having one. I think that would be hell in a nutshell. And so, you know, at least fall came. I, I can't imagine that. But I have been in a classroom where the air conditioning has broke. It's the worst thing. The worst thing I have ever truly witnessed as someone who used to be in high school. Or even, no, it happened to me in high school and it happened to me in middle school. So twice I had to endure that and it was the worst thing on earth. Oh, oh my God. But yeah, I mean, anyone can really imagine like being there in their shoes and having a classroom with no heater in it. It's even worse when like, um, it, it could be like your first or second week of school and you're like slowly getting adjusted to all your classrooms and you're going into a new class because maybe your teacher um, was sick for the first week or the second week of school and they finally come in and you go into their classroom and it is cold as a mother effer and it's nice and sunny outside and it feels good to be out in the sun because sometimes it gets a little teeny tiny bit cold in the classrooms. You go inside the freaking classroom and it's just like I said, cold as I don't know what. And you got to make sure you bring a hoodie up in there. Why? Because it's cold. I mean, I had to do that my... No, not my senior year. My junior year of high school. And that was the worst thing that I had to do. I mean, my teacher was going through the change as... 
<laughs> my mother and other adults that I know have said, and just, I'm like, oh God, that's what I'm going to be like when I get older. Great. I got to deal with that and having hot flashes and everything. And from what my mom and her friends have told me, it's the worst thing on earth. And I'm like, eh, no, I don't want to experience that. But I'm happy. Like I said, they got that freaking air conditioning and it's just going to be days where they're not going to be hot. They're going to be nice and cool. But like the next episode is a festival. So they're going to have another training camp and they're probably going to be at Moogie's summer home um, and be near the ocean. Unless Moogie got another summer home because she has that smaller villa and then we, we haven't seen the big house of it and then we still want to see her freaking mansion like I, I, i'm corny i'm guessing this girl has a freaking mansion because her parents are loaded this is a rich girl for christ's sake of course she's gonna have this big ass house and just like with i don't know like 10 15 rooms and then like 13 bathrooms because they always give more bedrooms than bathrooms. I don't understand why because I'm like, hold on. If this house is big as heck and you have maybe about 12 bedrooms, shouldn't you at least have 12 bathrooms? Two, who the heck is not going to use all them dang bathrooms? That is like the big, like probably the most expensive electric bill slash water bill like, you know, you ever had. Say that like, mm, that's rich people in a nutshell, I'm just saying. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, it was a really good episode. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, go ahead and stop the video. Go ahead and get episode 12 and I will see you guys in one second. <laughs> okay, quick thing before we start this episode, I did check it to see if um, there was any Pony Canyon ad in it and there is because unfortunately episode 11 didn't have one, thank God. Um, but yeah, this one has one and then once it starts, you know, I'll tell you when it's there and then we'll just continue. But episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. This is what I do 13 or 14 next week. I need to go back to the other site that I downloaded and not from this site. But what about <laughs> um. But guys, you four have to get ready for your college entrance exams and stuff. You don't really have time to go to a training camp. That's okay. That's fine. They need a break. I mean, well, hold on. No. Didn't they already have a break at the beginning? <laughs> I think, what was it? Like, episode, they went on their freaking um field trip. So that was technically a break, even though they didn't practice. But this is technically a training camp. So I, that doesn't really count as a break, though. But then it kind of does. Okay. Whatever. I'll take it. I just think I'm so cold right now. I wish I had some. I like a popsicle. I like, oh my god, no, not when the, the, the freaking vanilla cone with, uh, it, it's dipped and it has nuts on it oh my god that sounds so good a drumstick here we go i'm like what the heck is that called <laughs> oh, wait, are you saying? and commercial no commercial You know, why doesn't Ui just go with them? Oh, dang. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you can play and talk about your training camp at the same time. That's multitasking. It's easy. Mm-hmm. See, their little is more of a lie. Summer fest. <laughs> oh, like Coachella, basically. Or basically like any other um, rock festivals. Like, I think... Um, there's one festival I'm thinking of, I just can't remember the name of it. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, so much fun. Oh. Yeah. Even though I'm not done with this series yet, I think we got like what, um, 13 more episodes to go through. I will honestly miss this show. <laughs> but like, I mean, honestly, I really shouldn't be talking about like, oh my God, like the show's almost done and stuff. But we're really, I think, no, by next week, I'll be at the halfway point. But still, just to know in a couple of weeks or maybe in a month or so, I'll be done with this show. It's sad to think. Oh, there's you. No, Yui is right there. No, Yui is right there. Oh, God. She's behind you. She's been here the whole time. <laughs> I know. To be here so early. Oh, yeah. Savage time. Holy shit. <laughs> that is me in the mornings slash afternoons. So you had a hangover. That's what you got. It's okay. Girl, I got that too. That's all right. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. You get car sick too? Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mio, you can't have two bodies. <laughs> you can't do that. You know what they could do? Like, Mio can go to one of the concerts while one of the girls goes to the other, and it could be we two. And Ritsu could record their performance. And then, you know, it's like she's there. Easy.
Yeah, but once you get back in that bus, you're going to get stuck all over again. Oh, my baby. Mom, you better... Yeah. No. <laughs> mm. Big, hold on, big question, because I've always wondered this. Where the heck are they going to sleep? I mean, probably some people, when they go to Coachella or, like, any other concert where it's, like, for several days, some people probably camp or some people go to hotels. Girls, she is just ready to go. Well, she got some sleep, so... <laughs> This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't lose yours, meal. Yeah, people freaking can't. Holy shit. Isn't there any other flatland area? Uh oh, uh, no, you can Is that going to be enough room for all of you? Oh. We also talk about alcohol, though. <laughs> Get her in. Oh, no. I'm guessing no. I know, come on. She's not ready to go. Jesus. That's basically where the big major bands are going to perform, and then other ones are, like, smaller. Yeah, hun. So, you're not going to make it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. 
you always hungry. Especially <laughs> you. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's how it usually is. You know, even if it rains, they still don't care. You still perform and you kick some ass. <laughs> See, it would have been better if Mia wore some shorts at least. Because she's wearing some jeans. And I know she's got to be freaking hot. <laughs> she's so cute, my girl. And you want to cool off, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> I know you're alive. I don't think she will. What's up? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, Mogi, I'm sorry, honey. Damn. I said, Nyan, you want anything? Are you sure, Mogi? Uh, oh! You know, if only they had, like, a section. <laughs> if they had a section where they could buy shoes, <laughs> she would be okay. Cody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's more sex.
Uh, there's a lot of people there. Uh, what did you get? What about... Yeah. Thank you. But what about food? Is that Sabaton? <gasps> there we go. Sabaton's the thing. Always saving the day. Where's Azanian? Oh! My poor baby. <laughs> My poor Sachiko and Nino. My poor Aya. <laughs> Seriously. That. Maybe you guys should come back again next year, even though Azanian will be in high school, so. I know. <laughs> mhm. Mm see, now I kind of want to see if, like, iTunes, whether it's like the um, U.S. Uh, iTunes or the J.P. iTunes, if they have their songs on um, on it. Because I would love to buy their soundtrack. But I don't think so. I mean, it's 2019, and most like it probably isn't. So I could download some of their songs on YouTube. Oh my god, I would want that too, honey. Don't be like Muse and break up, please. <laughs> I swear to God, if this show ends with them breaking up, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I will probably cry more than I did when Muse and Aqua broke up. I mean, technically Muse didn't really break up because they, you know, the movie, but still it hurt. But this is a sweet episode to like have them officially go to a summer festival, see these bands, and to be in that experience, even though, like, Sour Time Sensei was, like, gone after she was at, like, one concert <laughs> with them, and she was just on her own, just jamming, 
I mean, to see her in her element is just so fucking good. I mean, I need more episodes focused on her. I mean, I- I'm kind of hoping because, like, I still do want to read the manga after this if they possibly have, like, a moment where they focus on her. I mean, as someone has told me, yes, they're still going to focus on all of after school tea time. I, I still want to know, like, what does Sawa time since they do after four of the girls have left and she's only having Azanyan left? And if they possibly hung out, even though it's just Azanyan. But I, I think they would do something. And then maybe, like, they would go to the Summer Fest again. I would like to see that in the manga or something. Because, of course, like, I'm guessing Sabachan is going to be in the movie because since they are going to London, she's going to have to be, you know, be able to go there and chaperone. Cody, come here. What do you hear? Do you hear somebody? Poor Azamian. So sunburned. Poor baby. Are they seriously going to Finland? Oh, summer green card. They are not going to Finland. I, I, <laughs> I mean, okay. If Moogie has a, like, a home in London, I will be like, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised, but at the same time, I would, honestly, because this is Moogie we're talking about. Because this chick got homes everywhere. Every, like, almost anywhere. She probably got homes in the United States of America, for Christ's sake. If she's got a home, if she's got a villa, a beach villa near the beach, she's got a freaking villa, probably in Finland. Who, uh, like, come on, she's gotta have one at something in London, like a flat. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> it should be enough for <laughs> all of them, plus Sawajan. And I mean, it makes me wonder, like, when this movie comes, when I watch this movie in the next few weeks, um, if, uh, if Nadoka and, um, Ui and, uh, Ui's and Azanyan's friend also goes, or if they just really... Because it, it's either going to go either one of two ways. Like, all these girls are just going to go. Or it's just going to be our main girls plus Sabachan. And then maybe Ui. I would like Ui to be more in this group. I mean, she's like... She's a part of Sabachan's, like... Um, not Sabachan's. Azanyan's um, circle of friends. Plus, because you know the fact that she's friends with Yui. So, it would be right for her to go. But then at the same time, you got to think, you know... You, I mean, not Yui. Ui has, you know, so much things to do. She's cooking and cleaning and taking care of the house. So would Ui really have time to really take a break from what she's normally doing to just hang out and go to London with these girls? But I mean, in my heart, I'm like, yes, like, let her go. She's an important character, just like every other character is in the series. And I, I mean... I want her to go. I mean, it would be nice like to have both sisters in London together, hanging out together, giving me feels and me crying and ish. Let that happen, please. <laughs> but I'm not going to know until I see the dang episode. But honestly, this episode really makes me want to go to a really, like, I've never been to a con. Well, no, I'm about to say, I'm about to lie. I've been to one concert and that was like, mm, two years ago, officially. Yeah, two years ago, officially in December. And I went to go see uh, Janet Jackson, but that was for my mom. But any artist that I like has never come to where I live in Florida. Or they usually do come to Florida and they have to either go to Miami or <coughs> Orlando. And your girl does not really want to do maybe a two to three hour drive just to see her favorite band. Because like my favorite band, Paramore... Um, came to I think it was Orlando and I thought my parents knew about it and I was like oh my god I'm going to see Paramore and I was freaking out no I went to Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights still love the fact that I went to Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights but I still honestly dead ass wanted to go see Paramore <laughs> I can't say that no I was okay I was a little sour about it for like a couple of days but I was like hey at least I went to Universal Studios <laughs> for Halloween Horror Nights, but I want to 
excited to see Paramore, but yeah, it was a really good episode. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction if you towards episodes 11 and 12 of season 2 of k -On. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next week. <laughs> next Wednesday for episodes 13 and 14. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.